All right, hello everyone. The other Jared here, along with Joe, also known as Cougar Master Nine Thousand, and we are playing Roblox, um, Five Nights at Freddy's, season two, free, free, season free, free, three, free. episode one. So yeah, uh, we're on to the third. Oh season. wow, really? Okay, I, I thought this was something else. Okay. I yeah, we're that. like we're like halfway through the series, mm. except uh, I think there's seven. Mm. I don't, wow. I don't know. And again, we, we are doing... So yeah, anyways. Oh, cool upgrade. Another, <sighs> Another Freddy, yeah. Freddy location. Can't believe they're here because of an health ex inspector. Out of all the things. Yeah. Maybe you should look around yeah. before going in... Oh, never mind. No, Maybe you should look around. Ah, your home, home place, Hurricane. Foxy and Friends, Pirate Plunder. Hmm, seems like they've opened some other areas in. Yeah. Hello there. Seems to be a statue. Oh. What's that? Well, I mean, seems to be a right. Uh, you oh, you can't there. talk to him. Hmm. Seems to be an entire ride. Pause the game. Okay. Mm. Well, interesting. You should probably leave now. Oh, oh. The whole underground toaster here. I assume that this is something later, maybe? I mean. Well, you should probably leave. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, well, that was dark. Well, at least you have a flat. Slight. Hmm, seems like, hmm, last time I remember at your hometown, by the way, this is your hometown, Hurricane. Mm hmm Yeah, seems like, seems like Freddy has taken over the place. Yeah, it does seem awfully quiet. Hmm, well, you should probably go into your new job. You just left. Okay, don't, don't move. Oh. It is a weird, a weird looking plush. Is shit. Uh, ignore that. Just move away. Walk away. Seems kind of looks like the suit purple guy got stuck in. Yeah, but yellow. No, you. Yeah, yeah, it was yellow. This is green or. Oh. Well, you should probably move. Mm. But not, not in the vents. <laughs> This location is not looking good. Oh, what the? <laughs> that feeling. Hmm, you heard something. Sure. Huh? You just saw a head. Look, look, chicken, chicken. There you go. Hey. Oh my! What do they do? The chica looks so man. There's a head now. Interesting. Hold up, we'll keep looking at You're in analyzing the head very wondering who who could have done However, then however, then suddenly Ah Oh, oh hey, Marinette. hey, what's up, Marinette? They are silent. It's moving me automatically. Like, what is going on here? I'm sorry, I'm like I'm not trying to move. Stop! What? Hello, what? Marionette. This one doesn't seem normal. It's a lot scarier. Is this not the same Marionette that I've talked yeah. to? Notice the greener look. Yeah. Um. Gonna take a few steps back. Hello. Maybe you should just walk back. Yeah, um... The name suddenly pops into your head somehow. Weird. Well, that... Huh? What's happening? Hold on, two, two, Chris. Oh! Oh, great! Oh, great! You have to reboot things! You have to use your cursor for this, I think. Well, great, as if, as if it needed to be worse, 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 this place is clearly broken. Can I? Gotta wait. Well, there you go. 
go, well, you fixed the problem. Okay, you can stop. <laughs> you fixed it, you, you can exit out now. Well, great. Hold on, look at that sign. Well, great, another, well, look, seems like the purple man put a self-portrait of himself. <laughs> Both in here. Why he did that, I have no idea. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, great. Well, great. Seems like you have to look after this place a lot more. It seems to be more burnt down than usual. I smell a night. Well, you... Hello, 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 my god, uh, can you stop leaving? Hello. Hello. <laughs> do you oh, not, geez. <laughs> do you not remember me? I am the purple man. Uh, I remember when you, when I got stuck in a giant yellow suit. Yeah, over the course of like a day, it is now, it has decomposed and become moldy. The yeah. last time I saw you, you looked like a pix, pixel polygram purple thing. Yeah, and then I got in a yellow bunny suit, got attacked by the water man, and now this thing is moldy and ruined. Oh yeah, by the way, I prefer... Oh yeah, by the way, for no reason, I want to be called Springtrap now, so uh, get used to that. <laughs> that... No, oh, for whatever reason, look. Like, I'm moving... Look at me. Here, maybe change your controller. So look, look. It's, I'm moving and I'm not pushing. Hold on, hold on. Maybe change your controller. I just turn it off. No, and then you, I'll just turn it off. No, no, use this one. Because you know this one doesn't have that air error. Okay, it's done. Just turn Maybe it automatically moved anyways. <laughs> yeah. Also, there are a bunch of ghosts ghost things running around. They're called phantoms. For now. What the heck? Okay, wow, wow, there's a lot of problems happening. Hold on, I'm very sorry you have to take Hold a... on. Here, just use this one. If I turn that one off, I think it might be... Oh, here. You just me. Here we go, alright. Okay, but yeah, um... Oh yeah, by the way, this place is like, oh yeah, by the way, this place has burned down like 50 times, so uh, it's at a really bad state. Also, there's a bunch of the like, goat phantoms, which are, which are like remains of other robots that also burned down. So yeah, basically this place is uh, like, uh, it's basically <clears throat> just a nightmare place and people still want to come here. So what am I supposed to do? And How do I protect this place? You can't. Sometimes it just burns down and that's it. You leave and that's it. Oh yeah, by the way, I Why guess I, I should... Why am I here then? Because health inspector needs to know that this place is... Anyways, I want to introduce you to office. This is... This is... This is uh, my self-portrait. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, it is magnificent. Oh yeah, and by the way, here, look at this trophy. Read it. The trophy reads, reads, best pizzeria builder of all time goes to William Afton. Yes. I all got time. it. Oh, look at these little cute little dolls. So yeah, uh, so yeah, uh, there you go. What? I, I, I have been, ba I basically built the best pizzas and even if they burn down 50 times, people will still come to them. Yeah, that's not something I'd be proud about. Well, I have money, and I have a lot of money, so I mean... Good for you. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna leave. Money doesn't... is it worth the lives of... Uh, the Anyways, I'm gonna leave. Also, I just want to say, in case you're wondering if I'm very uncomfortable about being inside a robot suit with basic metal inside of me, I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. Sure you are. You look... you look wonderful. 
Yes, I look. Uh, yes, I'm. I'm so beautiful. Oh. So beautiful. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and walk somewhere else. Hmm. Makes sense. Well, doesn't even care about people. Well, oh, that's creepy. Hey, there he is, right there. <laughs> that's what he used to look like. Hmm. <laughs> huh. Man. Man, he definitely was really good at recreating himself. <laughs> Help. You honestly feel very uneasy considering the fact that there are apparently ghosts and this is a haunted place. <laughs> Let's so just keep your feet moving. Maybe you should try to look for these ghosts. After all, it'd be probably good to get to know them before when they try to attack you. Ghosts? You can hear something following you. Hello? Hmm. See your eyes. Hey. I see it. Oh my gosh, you are invisible. Hello? Oh. Hello? Oh my, my gosh, that's not cool. My name is Phantom Freddy. Eddie. My gosh, there's so many of you Freddies, I can't keep track. Yes. Also, I have been, also, I am, I am, <laughs> also, I only have one leg to keep myself up. Isn't that isn't that great? <gasps> boom! I have a second leg now. What? And boom, it's gone now. Okay. Yes, isn't that very impressive? I can It's just... very impressive, but why are you here and what is your point? So, uh, basically, I was a Freddy who was his location, and then the place burned down, and then, uh, and then uh, that's it, and then I became a ghost. Wait, so you're a victim of Purple Man's... No, I know this place just randomly burns down from time to time. Yeah, that's Purple Man's fault, right? No, it just burns. There's no reason it, it was just. Purple burn Man created this this building. It's his fault. He, he needs to, to keep the fire code up, Listen, and he's okay, not doing it. And people are burning for it. And you're okay with it? No, I mean, well, I mean. Listen, okay, I don't think you get the story. He built the location, and then just somehow it just keeps burning. That he has no idea why it happens. It just burns down. I think. And at this exactly point, it's burned it down so many times that people just stopped caring. I think he knows exactly why it burns down. No, he has no idea. Listen. How do you know? Li I literally I listen. If there's one thing he can't lie to, it's his own electronics. And also because. And also, also, uh, in case... Then why not research why this place keeps burning down? There's no study of it. There's no news as to why. It just happens. This... We have no... I have no idea why it burns down. And at this point, I don't care. Because it's cool to be a ghost. No. It still doesn't make any sense to me. Anyways, uh... Anyways, also I might say that there are so many other phantoms here. There's a game obsessed chicken, Hicken, mm -hmm. a very miserable. F uh, there's like a two f phantom foxes here, and then the Marion, and then that phantom marionette, which uh, I think protects us all. 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 They're also a bit more silent. Lens. Hmm. And uh, also a very sad uh, balloon child. Anybody I should be afraid of or be wary of? You should be scared of the boogeyman. Yeah, I've seen plenty of boogeymen. And that's basically it. Anyways, anyways, goodbye. <laughs> well, that's not a pleasant exit. Well, great. So you're in a place full of haunted places, and at any point this place could burn down. You're honestly surprised a bunch of these things haven't already... 
ready just completely burned. <laughs> so why does purple man have like a golden thing on him? That's a badge. Oh, he was a police officer? No, it's a badge. It's like a security badge. Yeah, like for so, the place. He's, so he's a security officer? I mean... I like me? I mean, I, I guess. Or it was a badge because he was the manager. Oh, sure. Listen, I ain't scared of no ghosts. I'm here on good terms and I don't mean no harm to anybody. I want answers just like you wanna... guys want answers. Listen, okay, I don't I don't wanna scare you. I'm just very sad because I have no balloon. I'm just a bowling ball now. Oh, you must be a balloon boy. How did you know? Because I've met you before, buddy. Hey there. Hello. Hello, I'm very sad. I don't have a balloon. I'm just a bowling ball. Well, can, maybe I can get you a balloon. Follow me. Oh, okay. That's glitchy. Sorry, my... <laughs> I thought I saw a balloon around here somewhere. <laughs> Where was that balloon? Have I... W no, those balloons aren't real. They're just... They're... they're there's balloons made of full on plastic. It's so that they don't burn down. Well, um, I can go to the store on my night in between shift and get you some balloons. Uh, I mean, sure, even. I, I, I mean, sure, cool, do that. Well, hey, uh, where are you? I don't even know where you are, okay? Mm -hmm. Even even yeah, us yeah. even us phantoms get lost in this place. Oh, my, uh, oh yeah, do you wanna see a magic trick? Sure. Ah <laughs> That's not a magic trick, that's just creepy. What? I just wanna be cool to open my mouth. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what, if you tell me a secret I will come here with a balloon on my next shift. Oh, you wanna you wanna hear a secret, huh? I love secrets, especially those that like you know may save my life or whatever. Oh, so you want a secret that may save your life? Well, yeah. then I'll tell you one thing. Thing. Okay. Yeah. I'll get too close. Yeah. The boogeyman is afraid of plot armor. Who is the boogeyman? <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Well, well, there seems to be a boogeyman going around and you don't know why. Yeah. This place makes you feel uncomfortable for some reason. You know, you don't know how much there is. Nothing. I am a no longer, longer eating feast. I shall play games, games, games. The master of Toy Freddy told me how to play games, and I shall do it. Do it, it. Phantom Chick. Uh, Chica. <laughs> Chica, I just see Chick. Okay. You must be Phantom Chica. <laughs> ah, hello. Hello. I have no idea why I keep turning black and white, but that's... Anyways, uh, I have to keep reminding night guards my head is not a watermelon because people keep trying to eat it. No, you look more like a scarecrow than a watermelon. Now, now you see it. Um. See the head? Yeah, I guess I can understand why... Yeah. Seriously, mm -hmm. there's been like seriously, it's probably been the fourth time I've watched, I've watched some kind of purple bear try to eat my head. Well, you don't need to worry about that for me. And the thing is, he keeps saying, "I am a purple bear. I am a purple bear. I am special purple bear, and no other bear is like me." But he, yeah, I am purple. I am purple. What? What? Mm, that's creepy. And now I realize that that thing's name was Shadow Freddy. Do you like my poem? I love your poem. Anyways, I shall go back back to game. 
Right. Oh, that's not cool. I was going to play with you. All right. <laughs> you won't stick around for long. These phantoms are weird. How did that one go inside the machine? Mm. Whatever. You're starting to realize one thing, and that it seems that these animatronic parts seem to be the reason they're all here. Okay, you think? Mm. They seem to just kind of roam around. Around. Hold on, you think, hold on, one feet, you can feel one nearby. You can hear walking. Man, you really do not like the idea of having to take care of Seems to be a mangle of some sorts. Maybe you oh. should try getting their attention. They don't seem to notice you. Hello? They're on the ceiling. I saw them up there, but I don't know how to. Maybe try to. Maybe. Maybe, like, put the flashlight near them. You can't creep up on me like that. What are you? That's, what are you? That that's strange. That's strange. An animatronic that doesn't doesn't even know what a night guard is. That's super odd. You look like some sort of a mangle. What's a mangle? Well, hmm. mangle was a good deep friend of mine in the other Five Nights at Fr or in the other. Fazbear's restaurant, who I miss deeply. I don't know what this mangle you're talking about, Al, but I. Mango was. You well, didn't uh, notice one of the. Fa Fox. Foxy. Sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This to you. mangle is very weird. It doesn't even know what a mangle is, and it seems kind of miserable. <clears throat> Well, well, who are you then? I apparently I don't know. Can I help you? You don't hear a voice that sounds like Phantom Freddy. How many times must I remind you? You are Phantom Mango. I forget sometimes that you just forget. <laughs> I guess that's the name. Him. It means that they don't even know their own name. Yeah, why why is that? Why why do you keep why do you not know your own name? I, I don't know. And I feel like I just see strangers left and right. I can't re I don't know who they are, but sometimes they seem similar. I saw a bear and they were green and then I saw another one it's green. But then again, they feel like there is no connection between the two of them. Can I help you? Is there something I can do to help? Seems like this. Seems like this. It's like. It's like <clears throat> Mangle does, can't seem to remember a single interaction. Shin. Shin. Well, that's no life. You, you need to have a purpose, right? I... I 
then look at they then look at the window for a second and then look at back. What the? Ah. What? what? Who are you? What? I'm just the night security. Wait I am minute. no threat. Wait a minute. They just looked away and then they just seemed to forget who you were a second. Well, you have a terrible short-term memory. We just met. What? How? What? I don't remember you at all. Oh, I remember even seeing your face. He said. How? Your memory is so short. Why is this? I. I don't. I don't. No. Seem to be thinking. No. Did they just forget? Did they just forget the word no? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, they forgot who I am. I'm surprised they can even construct a sentence. Listen, I don't know who you are, but I'm just gonna walk away. Well, that's a problem you must figure out. You should probably fix this ventilation system. You feel like you can cough any minute now. here I must find where oh hello hey foxy what's going on I finally found you where did you I died no I completely forgot that you went to this job I was I was doing some very important business. Well, I could use your help. And I was totally, totally not hanging out with Whittler Bonnie at all. No, no way, no way at all. You don't need to explain yourself to me. I just, uh, I'm just glad you're here. I, I could really use some help. There's a lot of phantom, phantom beings here that, and one of them, Withered Phantom doesn't really seem to know what's going on. Oh, you mean Phantom Mangle? Uh, yeah. They seem to have some kind. They seem to have some kind of thing that I think decays their minds or something. But what can I do to help? Apparently, Foxy? her Phantom Freddy said they're on a stage two. I think. I have no idea what a stage, what the stage two in this case means, but mm -hmm. whatever. Well, Fox, I want to help these people. I don't know what to do. Well, I mean, I have no idea. You, also, you for seem so, to always have some advice. Also, so. uh, I don't mean to be very weird, but I think Phantom Mangle has some kind of obsession with flowers and vases. I have no idea why that's the case. It's just the case. Flowers, vases. I also heard that one of the clues I got was um, they don't like plot armor oh that's the boogeyman eh? Man. yeah what's this boogeyman all about he is a dangerous being that must be avoided at all cost if you see the boogeyman report it to your nearest police station oh wait never mind he oh wait never mind i forgot the police can't do anything about him because he's too powerful well, what am i supposed to do with the boogeyman uh i don't know i don't know try to uh, Actually, you know what? Give him a can of beans. It distracts him. But what does the whole plot armor thing mean? It basically means if he encounters someone like me, he gets into very deep fear. Speaking so, of... So, how about you just kind of chill with me and don't leave? Uh... Oh, yeah, by the way, speaking of fear, I for some reason feel very uncomfortable near uh, underwater machinery. Very broken machinery underwater. I have no idea why that's the case. Well, execution, probably. I, like, I just went...
for a dive at one point, and I saw like a giant fair. I saw like a giant that. car that was broken, and I and I saw like another version of me, and he looked like he was something that was built underwater, and then he said, and then he said, said Purple Man has met me. You will soon meet me as well, and then I said, okay. Okay, other me, I hope you have a good day. Well, you're a heavy machine, a uh, heavy ma piece of machinery. You shouldn't be going in the water anyways. I don't even know how you swim up to the top. You're so heavy. Uh, <clears throat> don't ask, but apparently the purple man uh, somehow made it to where us electronics are so powerful, water doesn't even affect us. It doesn't make sense. And... Oh. Sure, okay. Eh. <laughs> Also, by the way, I'm pretty sure I've been through your hurricane area, not the one in Utah. Mm-hmm. Ta, and seen about, like, 30 types of Freddies in that area, from sand-built Freddies. Like, I've seen a lot of Freddy things. A lot of Freddy-exclusive things. Okay. So yeah, uh, just want to say that I'm pretty sure Freddy took over your hurricane, not the one in Utah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't even think hurricanes can occur in Utah. No, it's like a, the name of the place. Oh. Okay. So yeah, uh, so yeah, uh, there you go. What? <coughs> go what? <coughs> also, uh, also for some. <laughs> Also, uh, for some reason, Wither Bonnie gave me this picture. You can look at it if you want to. Want to. It is, okay. a, it is a picture of Wither Bonnie holding the flag in rainbow color. Flag and rainbow color? Like a rainbow flag, and Wither Bonnie's holding it. I don't know what the faceless man was doing with that, but I, I don't know. Maybe it has some sort of meaning. Anyways, uh, I gotta. Uh, anyways, I gotta go because uh, I think, because uh, I think uh, a giant. Because I think there's another. Uh, I don't know. There's there's something happening. There's I I, I don't know. If it, the boogeyman must be nearby. I must capture him with my plot armor. Good luck, because <coughs> I don't want to get in here. What did you Crap. just witness? Mm -hmm. Well, as if, well, as if these, these places weren't weird enough, apparently there's a boogeyman. Man. hear walking. You can also hear talking faintly. Purple. 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 I am very purple. Where is that dude in blue? I need to find him so I can tell him how purple I am. You're scared. It sounds nearby. Maybe you should get in your office and hope that nothing's there. Maybe you should yell out to whatever's there. Hello? Mm. Hello? Oh, shoot. Hello, do you like my new introduction thing? I'll play it again. No, oh, I don't like it. It's, oh, I stole it from an elevator. Elevator, I compressed it into my body. So yeah, that's very fun. Haha. Uh -huh. What do you want? I just wanted to tell you how purple I am. That I am the best Freddy because I am purple. Well, and there's no... And no matter how much that that annoying, uh, very dark rabbit tells me it's annoying, 
I will tell everyone that I am purple. I've told er about 50% of the world that I am purple, and soon I will conquer the world due to me being purple Freddy. The, the Why is being purple important? You dare ask that question? What yeah. makes you think that? I don't know. What makes you so much more important than any of the other Freddies I've met? Because I am purple and none of them else are purple, so that makes me very special. And also, I now realize an even more reason in that if you look at the creator of all Freddies, look at his color. I understand that. He's purple. And his name is Purple Man. And I'm Sounds purple. like you just want to be like Purple Man. but So I'm actually his long forgotten cousin. Zin. Nah. Zin. Sounds just like another wannabe. You want to be like Purple Man. But you will never be Purple Man. You do realize I have supernatural powers and could literally, like, I don't know, take you to a completely different world. You do realize I have a flashlight, right? Flashlight, no effect to me. Oh, you have no idea the power of the flashlight. Ooh. That's right. That's only a taste. A small taste. Alright, well. I'm gonna go hide in this vent. <laughs> okay, you go ahead and do that. <laughs> do that but i'm gonna say you say you might want to think about your choice soon soon after all what if i save you at one point what if i save you how are you gonna think now when you get sick saved saved from what you better stop mr shadow bonnie or i'm going to slap you very hard no, let me get that night guard now. You don't dare. Shadow Bonnie, you don't know what you're doing, okay? I am trying to prove a point that purple is a good color. I, I don't like... Hey, guess what? I don't like purple. <laughs> yeah. What did you say? Hey, hey, you black sheep. I'm not a, I'm a mm. rabbit, not a sheep. Sheep, eat you purple brain. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Sorry, I was sorry. Uh, there is a giant uh, black bunny and he was about to attack you. Now, what do you think now? I just saved your life. But why would you save my life? Because I'm a purple bear, and in order to conquer the world, you need to be a good person. Wait, what? You need to be a good person to conquer the world. You need me to be a good person? Or Clearly, you just you no, need to be a good person. I'm trying to be a good person because you can only be because you can only conquer the world if you're a good person. Have you ever wondered why the purple man has to conquer the world? It's because he isn't a good dude, and so I will take his. And so I'm doing it. Yeah, but the 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 basis of trying to conquer the world is a bad deed, so you can't be a good person and conquer the world. You're contradicting yourself. What? Sorry, you're making no sense. No, like you if you you say you want to be a good dude to conquer the world, but your endeavor is in itself a bad deed because you want to conquer the world. Shadow Freddy seems like they they have no idea what you're talking about and don't seem interested at all in what you're saying. You're either good or you're bad. I'm conquering the world is bad. So whatever deeds leads to conquering the world, they're all bad deeds because in the end you're conquering the world and that's a bad deed. Sorry, let me rephrase it. I want to be a good person so that people can respect me and make make me a very powerful being so I could protect from a lot of bad things. Is that better? Seems a bit selfish to me. I'm literally, I'm literally, listen, okay? Why not just be good because, for the sake of being good, because it's the right thing to do. Why does it have to be about you? 
Hello, Phantom Freddy. What are you doing? I noticed you're invisible. You didn't hear Phantom Freddy's voice. Yes, Mr. Shadow Fred Man. You're very cool. Oh, oh, because you're purple. And I'm very ashamed of myself to not be purple. I'm glad we can both agree on the same thing. That I'm so much cooler because I'm purple. Yeah, man, you're so cool. I have no leg. You can clearly tell there are two different voices. Yeah. Sorry, just had to do that. That. Let me guess. You just want me. You just want to hear about how great I think you being purple is, and then we're gonna move on. Yes. <laughs> How great it is to be purple like you, my purple lordness. Good job. I I'm bow very... to your greatness. Good job. He then sheds a tear. You're right. I'm so glad you have grown to be what you needed to be. Anyways, goodbye. I'm going to protect the world now. I hate my life. I feel like I should be doing it's right, but these monsters are just out of control. What the heck is that? Oh. You need a woman. You need to take a sit down. You're being... I need a Twix. Twix is not a traditional sponsor. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello, I just wanted to say hi. Hey I, there, Phantom Freddy. I can Freddy. definitely tell that you heard me. Yeah, you praised the other Freddy, didn't you? Yep, I sure did. It did. Why? Because he's purple and I'm not. I'm very jealous. Who of cares? Listen, okay? That color is more important than you think it is. No, it's your, your deeds. Mm -hmm. Th that's what makes you important. That's what you do. Oh, you ever gosh. wondered? Have you ever wondered why I'm green? Mm -hmm. No. It is because green means. It's because green means uh, eating a lot of healthy food, and I've eaten a lot of healthy food, so I'm green. Okay. And. And when you're purple, like he is, you it it gives you the wish of me of saying you are a very important person. Have you ever wondered why the purple man is the leader of us all? No. It's because he's purple, and purple means you're super important. So yeah, there you go, proof. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that per, the color of what you are means anything. I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I think you could be just as important as the purple man. What, if what I is, what is, what is the purple teddy done that, that you couldn't do? Tell well, me. Well, let's say he, uh. Hmm, I'm trying to remember one of the things he did. Oh yeah, right. Uh, uh. At one point, he uh ate an entire uh building full of bad people. And you couldn't do that. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Or could you? See, the thing is, uh, uh Mr. Purple Freddy is an is a being not from this world. He's a completely different entity. Yeah, well, so he can do a lot of more supernatural things than you'd think. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that your mm -hmm. worth is less. Like, I Listen. think you could do some cool stuff, Listen. too, I bet. You, get you can turn invisible, can he? He can. Oh. Huh. Well, but you, you can walk on one leg, can he? Yeah, I know you have another leg there. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, 
Yeah, I know that's pretty impressive, but then again, I am a ghost. I'm a phantom after all. But that's cool. Dang it. Seriously, I get your pain, okay? The pain of dealing with this. This. Seriously, this place is just a wreck. No, it's not my pain. I'm worried about your pain. Listen, okay, all I just want to say is you get on Chet over, I mean, Purple Freddy's bad side, uh, you might not have a great time. Ema. 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 So you're his prisoner? No, not at all. After all, I just burn. I just think he, I just, again, he's really cool and I don't want to get on his bad side at all. Because mm. I've seen what he can do. <clears throat> Listen, he has very similar powers to Shadow Bonnie and I saw Shadow Bonnie create hallucinations. He says, cause, cause night guards to just pass out or do weird thing, <clears throat> get possessed by him. And the thing is, Shadow Freddy can do that as well. If you get on his bad side, he might possess you and it'd make you sound like a bad person. What do you think about Foxy? Oh, he's a cool dude. He's a very cool dude. Dude, he supports... How would you feel if Foxy was in charge? I'd be his fine. Fine. After all, who wouldn't... After all, who wouldn't want to want to be... Would you be on... happier if Foxier, Foxy was in charge? No, listen, we don't know until it happens. Bins. I think Foxy should be in charge. You know what? I like Foxy. He's a cool dude. I agree. I ain't afraid to say it at the top of my lungs. Lungs, 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 lungs. Sorry, I just don't know what else to say. Maybe stop living in fear. Huh? Maybe stop living in fear. I'm not living in fear. I'm a literal ghost. I can cause fear to other people. Then why do you praise him every time you see him? Because Because he... of fear. I'm not scared, okay? Maybe why would I be scared show of him? It. Look He then seems Hmm, you see here, hear this. <laughs> That's pretty terrifying. Oh, look at you. You're now fear in fear now, huh? Who's talking now? Yeah, well, oh. I'm not the one praising purple skin for his purple skinness. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think, honestly, I'm starting to think you and Phantom Mangle are related. Aided. <laughs> Me and Mangle have a lot in common. I'm talking about phantom mangle, not normal mangle. Any mangle. Even the We're one all messed up in the head because of the situation we're in. You're even even about the mangle that's underwater seeking peeking for people, full to hunt them down. What about that one? Maybe not all of them. Yeah. Take a good look right here. Mm -hmm. Look, look at this. This is the person that's created you. Yes. He's very beautiful. I want to kiss him. No, he's evil. Listen, if he ends up, if he ends up, like, being gone, then we're done. He is the one source that we have. And the thing, and the thing is, like... Like, we need him, because if we ever get damaged badly, if he's not around, we can't do anything. We just have to accept who, what no, we become. No, this is, you guys are all ants in an ant farm. He created the ant farm. You are the ants. He could easily just crush the ant farm and destroy you all. He's keeping you around for a reason. You guys need to uprise. Listen, I don't think Work you, together. you don't under... What if I told you that he's immortal? I will listen. Yes, as the ant would see the human. Listen. Immortal. Listen. That's the uprise. Listen, listen. listen. I've solved two people. I listen. There have been 
he listen. What if I told you that he had got in a listen? You know how he's <laughs> in that giant moldy rabbit suit right now. Mm-hmm. An entire endoskeleton is in him right now. His entire normal body skeleton has been replaced. And is he in any pain? No. He is completely fine. I mean, nothing has changed the battle. And guess what? He hasn't. And guess what? It isn't his first time going through it. He's been through it three times and has managed to get out every. S- yeah, but now, who better to attack them than his creations? It's certainly not me. I'll get destroyed. Listen, I, I just don't think you understand what who he is or what his power are. I think he gave you guys all these unique abilities. And if you used all these unique abilities against him, you could defeat him. But you guys are so bent on being separated and worship each other, being jealous and being separated, that you're too busy focusing on your own shit, stuff, sorry, and not focusing on the task at hand, which is defeating him. Listen, if Purple Man ever, ever moves on, then we're, when we're done for. If we break, he's not going to be able to fix us. He's the best technician in the entire world, and he's the only person who knows, who has the technology of being able to make us go underwater. I had a, a I have... Listen, at one point, uh, uh, Bonnie broke down and Purple Man wasn't around, so he called another technician to build a... Bonnie did not feel great. He felt like at any moment he was just going to fall apart. He didn't feel the same. He didn't feel great. He didn't... He felt like at any moment he was just going to fall into pieces. Sizz. Sizz. And guess what? When the purple man built him back up, built him in his own way, he felt great. He felt like himself again. He felt like he could do. He felt like he could do a backflip. He felt like he could just run around, around and do whatever he want. So you feel like living life tied to this purple man and living to his whims is better than Listen. a life without him? Yes, because again... Again, like, we've, you, also, you're kind of late, there's really no way to stop him, because, look, I mean, if you went outside, you'd see a bunch of Freddy stuff. I think a kid built a Freddy head out of sand and rocks. Everything has a weakness. And guess, and guess what? I saw one person who, who, uh, had a similar idea in head where, he decided that, you know, Freddy was taking over. The Purple Man was evil. He tried to protest, and guess what happened? He died. The Purple Man, uh, well, guess what, uh, uh, funny story, uh, uh, I just wanted to say this is very funny, where, uh, uh, Foxy just came in and then just punched him. He just kicked him to outer space. Face. Hmm. And then said hi, and then said hi to the moon. And the Foxy moon. Foxy did this. Yes, he so did like it. Something Foxy would do. Well, he did it, and then he waved to the moon, saying hi. And then guess what? The moon, the moon waved back. It even had a hand. The, the, that doesn't make any sense. The moon doesn't have a hand. I saw it with my own two eyes, and I'm gonna say, hey, you have no idea. You saw what you wanted to see, but uh, I now have a better understanding of why you are the way that you are, and you know what? I can't blame you. It just sucks that you're tied down to this purple man. I I wish you could be free. I want to tell you, I don't know why, but for some reason, I thought, what if all these problems happened just because he fell down a flock of stairs? That would be really funny. A fun flight hit. of stairs? A flock of stairs. A flock of stairs? Imagine, What's a flock of stairs? Imagine he just one day was a very normal dude who just wanted to make a fun, 
and then he fell down the fell down the staircase and his brain just became evil and then he became a crazy maniac and now we're here. Imagine that was the entire Well if you deep. believe that then you believe that every one of his creations is evil. Well, no, I just think, you, no, I don't think it's, I mean, I don't know, it just randomly popped into my head. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Do you think you're evil? No. Are your intentions good? Yes. I mean, hey, I'm just trying to, the, I'm just trying to live my... why intimidate me with your sounds? Because I think they're cool, and I like showing my sounds. And plus, the others don't seem to mind when I do it. What is you? What do you think your purpose is here? Just to live a happy life, just be who I want to be. If I want to be a performer, I'll be a performer. If I want to, if I want to try to fix Mangle back to where they were before, I'll do that. Then I think you should do that. The one thing I do have to agree is the Purple Man is a little evil, evil. Well, do you think evil creates good, or do you think evil creates listen, evil? I think, listen, I think he's just, listen, I think he's just a little crazy. Maybe snapping him back to reality would help him realize a lot of the mistakes he's done. And how exactly does one do that? I don't know, maybe remind him, I don't know, maybe remind him of what he had in the past. He's been for a lot, okay? He's had a lot ripped away from him. Let me guess, it's up to me. It's none of you are gonna do that. Well, I mean well, I mean he just kinda doesn't really I don't know. You just kinda have Ignore At this point you can ignore the gas. Ass. What? I'm afraid I'm gonna... The gas does nothing. It's just supposed to be a defense mechanism. But strangely, when you're... Eh, I don't know. Weird. It's weird gas. I don't know what it does. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I've talked to you for too long. Uh, oops. Get back. Hold on. Let me, let me fix this. Let me fix... Ah! Man, this is why you should not be in... Hold on. I need you to get. Thank you. Just try not to. Okay. Anyways, uh, I got a Seattle. My my throat's hurting. Yeah, and my I think my shift's up. Yeah, definitely it's up. You should uh, probably go ahead and take a rest. And if you want, I can extend the night for you. Well, so hey. You can get more rest. I don't know if you hear this enough, but it's been a pleasure talking to you, Phantom. Well, I get, oh, well, thanks. I mean, I kind of already, I kind of get that a lot, even though I kind of assume it, because, again, I talk to most other Phantom. Not a lot of night guards come around here, probably because, probably because they're scared of this place burning down with them inside. Yeah, well, I just want you to know that I'd rather talk to you than that purple guy. I think you're great just the way you are. And, yeah. uh... I'd much hey, rather talk to you than listen, another guy. I will tell you one thing. If you want to talk to a person who isn't really happy with the Purple Man, talk to Golden Freddy. He he has some pro. He is not in great terms with Purple Man. Man. I don't need to. He's probably already. He's probably already hearing you right now. He's probably if, already. If there's one thing the Purple Man's done, it's he's created a lot of unique uh, people who. I've enjoyed speaking with, and you are the uh, top of the line. So you keep doing you, buddy. Don't you worry about being purple or anything. Anyways, go on ahead. It was my pleasure. As soon as I can, don't know how to get out. I think I go this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get me out of this place. Mm -mm -mm. Nope, nope. Well, you're finally out. Now that you look around you, you notice a lot more. Maybe you should just sit on the beat for a second. Take a moment. 
After all, you can relax. Oh my, you think you see something? That... Oh my. Seeing this Phantom Freddy wasn't wrong. That's an entire Freddy sculpture made of sand with rocks being used to teeth. The. The. Hmm. That's really a good portrait. Hmm. Hmm. This one's actually laying here. Enter. A different Freddy? No, that's just the enter to the ride. Oh. Well, uh, I'd say we can end it off now. Okay, well, I'm going to go home, whatever direction that is. I'm yeah. assuming my character knows. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, I had fun, and we'll see.